All right, we've got our box, we've got our axle right here. Our next step is to make one of those cams, one of those little circles right here. So it's a circle with another circle in it offset from the center. Now, you can easily do that as a separate part file. You got a circle and you get a smaller circle. That's the diameter of your axle right there. But we're gonna start getting a whole bunch of parts that maybe this is half an inch, maybe it's three quarters of an inch, maybe it's right here, maybe it's right here, maybe it's right here. So once we have it all assembled, it might not line up correctly. So what I'm gonna show you now is making a part directly in the assembly. So this is kind of a new thing that we probably haven't gone over yet. And it's very useful when you're building something with a lot of parts. Um, a lot of other programs, you know, that's, that's kind of how they work. Like uh, if you use Fusion or Onshape or, you know, even like SketchUp, you make it directly in there. But Inventor works a little bit differently. Inventor makes the parts separate from the assembly. So what we're going to do is we want to make that circle and we want to put it directly on this axle right here. So instead of going to File and New and make a new part, what we're going to do is use this Create button. So what Create does is you can make a part right there in an assembly. So I'm going to hit Create, and this little screen pops up right here. So a couple things with this screen. So right here, New Component Name. That's our name. That's our file name. That's what we want to make. So I'm going to call this CAM. Uh, it's going to be a standard IPT file. This tells me exactly where it's going to be saved to, so it's in my same folder as before. And right here, constrain sketch plane to selected face or plane. For right now, I'm going to uncheck that. What it does is it will, or it can, automatically constrain it wherever I draw it. Right now, I don't want to do that, I'm, so I'm going to uncheck it. I'm going to hit OK. So right now, it doesn't look like it's doing much. But if you look at the bottom of the screen, right down here, where right now it says press for help, press F1, but what it wants me to do is select sketch plane for base feature. So kind of like when you're starting a new sketch, a new part, you need to pick the plane. So with this one, since I'm making a circle that's going to go around this axle, you know, right here. This is a good plane I could draw on. I could draw on this plane. What I don't want is up here or back here or down here because I want to use this hole right here. So just click on, I don't know, this plane right here. So now, doesn't look like it's done much. But if you look at the top, first of all, you see my piece right here is all kind of grayed out. That means that it's no longer in focus. But here, up here at the top, I'm in an assembly, but these are all my part tools right here. So I want to make a new sketch. So I'm going to hit Start Sketch. And now you're going to see this little, you know, my little axes, my planes, somewhere along here. So this is where I want to draw. So I want to draw on this plane right here. Even if I want to draw down here, I'm still going to click the plane right here, this XY plane. Because now I can move and come down here. So now I've got all my regular drawing tools. I just want to draw some circles. But I've already got a circle right there that I want to use. This is where the create directly in an assembly comes in handy. If I want to use that circle so I don't have to remember how big it is, I'm going to hit this project geometry button. What Project Geometry does is it takes things that are already there and kind of uses them. So like if I want to make this circle, I can hit Project Geometry and use that circle. Or like if I wanted to know where this was or something, I could click that. But I want that circle there. I know it's half an inch, but maybe you don't. And that way if I change it later, it'll work correctly. All right. So there's my Project Geometry. I click my circle. I hit escape to go back. And I've got a circle right there. But you notice it's in yellow. Um, but that's where I want these, the cam 
to go around the axle. So what I need to do now is make another circle around that. Let's make our cam, I don't know, that big. Two inches. So I'm going to make a circle. And I can't put it right in the center like this, because if I did that, when I spin it around, it won't do anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I need to do is put it off center. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm just coming over. And I'm going to make this two inches. And since I want to move that an exact distance away, I'm going to use the dimension button. So I'm going to hit dimension, hit the center of that first circle, hit the center of that second circle, and let's make this three quarters of an inch, so 0.75. No, let's not do that, because if I drilled a hole, that would come up to the edge there. That's no good, so let's make it half an inch. Cool, so just double click that. Excellent, hit finish. Now I've got a circle with another circle in it. Now I want to extrude that to make that, give that some thickness, make it 3D. So I'm going to hit extrude. And I can click. And let's make this 3 quarters of an inch, 0.75. Um, you know, we could use 3 quarter inch plywood for that. It would work really well. So 0.75 is a good dimension right there. All right, so you'll notice again, the assembly is all grayed out, so it kind of shows you where it is. My part that I just created is, you know, in focus, um, and that's saved as cam. So if I come back and look at my top here, you notice this is all my part. If I hit the return button, this will go back to my assembly. So when I hit return, now I'm back in an assembly, and now I've got that cam on there. It's not attached to anything, it's not going to spin, but it is right there. All right. So if I wanted to go back and edit it, I can double click it, and you'll notice it grays everything out. But keep a focus on that top right corner. If it says return, that means you're not in the assembly. Hit return to go back to the assembly. And then one thing I've not done yet is save it. So I'm going to go to File and Save. And it wants me to save my assembly because I haven't done that yet. I'm going to call it the Tomaton Assembly. And you'll get this screen that pops up when you hit Save from time to time. So because I made the cam, because I maybe changed the dowel a little bit, the uh, axle, basically when I save it, it says, hey, do you want to save everything? And I say yes. So all the changes that I've already made, there we go. All right, so this doesn't spin yet. So we'll get to that next.